Professor Rosina Mustafa and heading the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Today I am going to perform abdominal examination on a dummy. Every examination starts from the consent. So you have to take consent of the patient and then you have to fill the prerequisites. Prerequisites are ask the patient if she has emptied her bladder or not. If she has emptied her bladder, then it's okay. If she has not, then you can send the patient to washroom and she can go. Then you have to uh, keep the patient in straight position and on left lateral side of the patient, you have to keep a pillow. This is to prevent the aortocable pressure so that fetus should not be in distress during the straight line of the uh, position of the patient. Then you have to expose the examining area. And ideally, it should be from the mid thigh to the zifi sternum. But in Pakistan or in our country, we don't do this. We have to expose only the abdominal area. And then we have to cover the patient legs. Two sheets should be there. If the students, they don't have the sheet available there, they can ask the examiner. Always ask from the examiner about the sheets because you have to cover the patient's leg and the chest area. Now, we'll start the examination and examination is always from the right side. So first is the inspection. In obstetrical examination, we have three steps. First is inspection, second is palpation, and the third is auscultation. There is no percussion in obstetrical examination because we are examining the fetus actually. So on inspection, you have to see the shape of the abdomen. In pregnancy, shape is always distended and symmetrically distended. It is never asymmetrically distended because the uterus is in the center position and the fetus is lying in the uterus. So symmetrical distension of the abdomen. Then second, you have to notice the shape and position of the umbilicus. So when the symmetrical enlargement of the abdomen is there, umbilicus is always in the center, but shape is different it can be everted or flat okay then there are signs of pregnancy stria gravidarum linea nigra linea nigra is a line that extends from the umbilicus in the center to the pubic surfaces in non pregnancy we call it linea alba but in pregnancy due to darkening of that line it is called linea nigra then we have stretch marks on either side of the abdomen both sides of the abdomen. So you have to observe is, is there any stria gravidarum, linea nigra is visible or not, any visible vein, scar mark, scar mark of the previous cesarean section that is fennel steel. Sometimes that scar mark is hidden under the trouser. So you have to expose the patient above the pubic surfaces and see whether the fennel steel scar mark is present or not. And then rest of the scar mark, either appendicectomy, polycystectomy mark or any other scar mark visible or not. These are the points on inspection you have to observe. Then comes the palpation. Now palpation, in this we have two steps. The first step involves this senti tape because we have to measure the symphysiofundal height. As the name indicates, it starts from the pubic symphysis to the maximum height of the uterus. So how we are going to determine this maximum height of the uh, uterus? Now you have to, this left hand, under border of the left hand, start palpating from the ziphy sternum and coming down, like you are palpating the liver from the lower side, it is the just opposite to the liver examination. With the left hand, under border of left hand coming down and where you feel the resistance. Just take a pen and make a mark on it. This will become easy later. So upper border of pubic symphysis you have to palpate. Now most of the students they palpate the lower border of the uterus or the anterior surface of the pubic symphysis. You can see here that this is the upper border. Never palpate the lower border or the anterior surface. So zero point of the senti tape should be at the upper border of the pubic symphysis which is hidden behind the abdomen. So now you palpate it like this. This becomes the zero point of the senti tape. Now place the zero point of senti tape here at the upper border of the pubic symphysis and inches should be above. To overcome the bias we have to 
keep the centimeters below and inches above you have to mark you have marked the upper border of the fundus so take the centi tape up to the upper border of the resistance where you have felt the resistance so this tape should not be too tight like this or it should not be too loose it should be firm you place it like this and in the center it should not be here or here it should be in the center and take this up to the mark and then you can see in centimeter one centimeter is equal to one week so if the patient is 36 weeks pregnant so physiofundal height should be 36 centimeter. Then comes the uh, grips. There are four grips. Fundal grip, lateral grip, polyp grip and pelvic grip. Now fundal grip as the name indicates, we have to palpate the fundus of the uterus. How we are going to palpate? Patient is lying like this, head is there. Okay. So I have to face towards the patient's face. Fundal grip starts, you have to place your both hands above the fundus and palpate which part of the fetus is there. Now, how you will feel the head? Head is round and hard, while buttocks are soft and they are broad. So you can have the idea what part is present at the fundal area. Then take these two hands on the lateral side of the abdomen. Now stable the fetus with one hand and palpate from the upper to the lower side of the abdomen by your one hand. Now make sure your palm of the hand should feel. It should not be like that you are poking the fingers in the, into the abdomen. Your hand should be like this, firm and soft. Then you have to stable this hand and palpate from the other side. Now what is the objective of this lateral grip? This lateral grip will tell you about the lie of the fetus. And second is back of the fetus. Because this back is important later on. Back is, you will feel the back like smooth and round. And on the other side where the limbs are present, you will feel the nodular feeling of the limbs. So main for final level, you have to tell us that lie, we have to palpate the lie of the fetus. And number two, the back of the fetus. Rest of the information is above your level like we can assess the size of the fetus, we can assess the volume of, of liquor, we can assess. So these are later on things but for final level lie and back of the fetus. Then comes the polyp grip. Now polyp grip as the name indicates this is a paw. We have to make paw of the hand and place it above the upper border of the pubic symphysis like this. Now your hand should not be like this. There should be no space between your hand and the abdomen. It should be like a C or you can call D and place it above the pubic symphysis firmly and try to palpate the presentation of the fetus in the uh, pelvis because the fetal presentation is not in the fat. Some students are doing like this. That is not correct method. So it should be like this and palpate which part of the fetus is lying in the pelvis. If that is hard and round, then it is cephalic. If it is broad and soft, that is breech presentation. So poly grip is for presentation of the fetus. This you have to be very clear. Then comes the pelvic grip. Now for pelvic grip, now my face is towards the patient's feet. And I have to use again both hands as we have used in the fundal grip. So place your hands above the pubic upper border of pubic symphysis and feel with the part that is moving in your hands or not. If the part is moving in your hands, we call it that the head is not fixed. If it is not moving, then we call it that the head is fixed. Now level of fix or engagement is not determined by the pelvic grip right now. For this, we have to go for the vaginal examination and we have to very much clear about the parts of the head because roughly we divide the head into five parts. One, two, three, four, five. And we see that the pelvis enter in the pelvis. If one part of the head is entered, then we call it that we four by five palpable on abdominal examination. If two parts have entered, we call it that three by five are palpable on abdominal examination. Or isi tarah pura karke ye jayega. When the head completely enters the pelvis, to yahan pe hume ye on vaginal examination, 
इट विल बी एट जीरो स्टेशन तो फिर हम कहते हैं हेड इज फुली एंगेज एंड दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ लेबर बट ऑन पेल्विक ग्रिप आपने सिर्फ इतना बताना है कि हेड इज फिक्स ऑन नॉट ठीक है अगर फिक्स नहीं होगा तो ये हेड जो आपके फुटबॉल की तरह मूव कर क्लियर लास्ट इज द नाउ दीज आर फोर ग्रिप्स लास्ट इज द फीटल हार्ट सॉन्ग्स सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिटर्मिन वेयर द बैक इज एंड सेकेंड वॉट इज द प्रेजेंटेशन इफ केफेलिक प्रेजेंटेशन ऑस्कल्टेट बिलो द अम्बलाइकस इफ ब्रीज प्रेजेंटेशन ऑस्कल्टेट फीटल हार्ट अब द अम्बलाइकस सेकेंड इज इफ बैक इज ऑन मदर्स राइट और लेफ्ट साइड आपने लेटरल ग्रिप से डिटर्मिन किया था सो केफेलिक प्रेजेंटेशन लेट सपोज बैक इज ऑन द मदर्स लेफ्ट साइड सो इमेजिनरी अ लाइन शुड बी ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द इंटीरियर सुपीरियर आई लेक्स पाइन टू द अम्बलाइकस एंड इन द सेंटर ऑफ दिस लाइन यू हैव टू प्लेस दिस पिनार्ड फिटोस्कोप एंड ऑस्कल्टेट हेयर ठीक है दिस इज द मेथड फॉर ऑस्कल्टेशन सो फॉर ऑस्कल्टेशन प्रेजेंटेशन शुड बी नोन एंड बैक ऑफ द फीटस शुड बी नोन दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एबडोमिनल एग्जामिनेशन सो लास्टली यू हैव टू थैंक्स द पेशेंट एंड कवर द पेशेंट ऑफ दिस इज द लास्ट स्टेप Thank you.